You thought Gen 2 was hardcore. LFS is hardcore. So let's dive into Linux from scratch. Let's compare it to Ubuntu, Arch, and Gen 2 and figure out whether it's a fun learning experience or really a never-ending quest for total control. Depends on the kind of programmer and developer you are, maybe. But let's dive in. So Linux from scratch isn't just a distribution. It's a step-by-step -step process that teaches you how to build your own Linux system from the source code. There is no prepackaged installation here. You can pile everything from the kernel to basic utilities and customize each part along the way. Ultimately, LFS isn't just about using Linux, it's about learning Linux. You gain a deep understanding of how Linux systems work, down to its core components. So if you compare this to something like Gen2, unlike Gen2, there is no emerge or Pacman here. You manually compile each package, follow detailed instructions, and configure everything yourself. And that means with LFS, you're not just installing Linux, you're essentially building Linux. This makes an incredible learning tool, but it's also very time consuming, requiring patience and attention to detail and a deep learning curve. In my mind, LFS is for the hardcore enthusiast who wants to understand every inch of their OS. It's perfect for developers, students, or hobbyists who want to learn Linux inside out, but it is certainly not for casual users who need a system up and running quickly. Now, that's what's great about something like Gen2. It gives you a lot of control, but with the help of Portage, the package manager, you can automate much of the compilation process for you. You still compile software from source of Gen2, but it's less tedious than LFS because the system does a lot of the heavy lifting. Now, in my mind, this means that Gen2 compared to LFS is perfect for users who want extensive control and performance tuning, but don't want to spend days compiling every single tool manually. It's a middle ground for those who want to learn, but still be productive. But then you could consider maybe the next step down would be Arch Linux. This lets you build your system from the ground up, but with pre-compiled binaries and a rolling release model that keeps your software up to date without having to compile. This means you get control over your system without needing to compile everything yourself, which means less setup time and more flexibility to tweak as you go. So in a way, Arch is also perfect for people who might conform to our power users because they want bleeding edge systems with control, but they certainly be productive without spending hours compiling everything. Of course, if you're brand new to Linux, I would always recommend, however, LFS is not for you. You want to go to Ubuntu. Ubuntu offers a fully functional system out of the box with a graphical installer and pre-compiled software repo. If you just want to get things done, Ubuntu is the way to go. It's user-friendly, stable, and requires little to no manual configuration. So it's really very best for beginners. It's the opposite end of the spectrum to Linux from scratch. It's for casual users or anyone looking for a quick, stable setup without diving into the complexities of source code compiling. Also, even if you're a really seasoned Linux user, Ubuntu is great. It's easy, it's fuss-free, and if you want something that just works, why not consider Ubuntu? But if you do love tinkering and you want to get into the ultimate DIY experience, Linux from scratch might be the place to go. Now, to me, the only reason I would really recommend Linux from scratch is if you want complete control over every single package, config file, and system feature. Yes, LFS is probably the ultimate Linux experience. By building everything from scratch, you'll learn the inner workings of a Linux system. From setting up the bootloader to configuring the kernel, LFS teaches you the why behind the what. But let's be real, building a Linux system from scratch probably also gives you some serious geek cred. If you want to brag that you've built and conquer the challenge of a steep learning curve like building your own Linux system, LFS is the perfect playground. So if this appeals, great, dive in, have a go. I'd highly recommend it. Now, ultimately, I think at this stage, it's probably best to treat happy game. Why you would choose Ubuntu over LFS, for instance? Well, if you want a system that works out of the box, with minimal config, it's the way to go. You've got long-term support, a massive community, and it's a safe choice for beginners. Then you want to go up this ladder and you consider Arch Linux. If you want to build your system your way, but don't have the time to compile everything, Arch offers a great balance of control and convenience. So you get cutting edge without the hassle of manually updating or compiling everything from source. After this, we've obviously got Gen2. This gives you the power to control every aspect of your system without manually compiling every package, gen package manager automates much of the process, making it more practical choice than LFS, but of course there's still a lot of compilation involved in Gen2, so be prepared for this. But maybe it's a step below LFS unless you want to dive deep into the self-build world. So ultimately, if I were to wrap this up, I would say that Linux from scratch is for the true Linux enthusiast. If you want to understand it from the ground up, don't mind spending a ton, and I mean a ton of time, building everything from scratch then Linux from scratch is for you. LFS is fantastic. It's an incredible way to learn Linux and your knowledge will be next level if you go down that rabbit hole. But if you don't want to spend that time, you've got many other options with the Gen 2 for hardcore customization with less hassle, Arch for power users who value flexibility and simplicity, or Ubuntu for beginners, or those who just want to get things done. So ultimately, whether you're an LFS purist, a Gen 2 master, an Arch enthusiast, or a Ubuntu newcomer, there's a Linux distro for everyone. But tell me, which one do you prefer and why? Now, 
I know there can be a lot of opinions on this. And I would ultimately say there is no right Linux distro. You choose what's best for you. You choose what you enjoy and you have fun. I think people using Linux tend to want to have fun using Linux. And LFS, if you enjoy getting really down in the nitty gritty, is a fantastic way to have fun with Linux and to learn a lot, a lot about Linux behind the scenes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.